Well, hi guys, welcome back to Car Building. Tune in episodes. And last episode, I made this the Chrysler of the 300. It is actually a surprise package. <laughs> it looks really nice, and it's it's got a massive wheelbase. So obviously, it's going to be good for drifting. So it was it was actually a really good car. It was good fun to drive as well. Like, you serious? Nah, but if you haven't checked that out, I'd recommend you go and check out that episode because that was a really nice car. I really enjoyed that one. So yeah, next car, Nissan, that's an 510, a really small wheelbase, <laughs> from the biggest wheelbase to the smallest wheelbase. But you have a lot of choice of colours, <laughs> yeah! Oh, a little baby blue one. Oh, fuck that bright blue, that looks too bright. Let's go with that blue. Datsuns, they're crazy. The amount of power you can get out of this is just insane. I can remember making one, it was like... I can't even remember. I think I... Well, you can engine swap it, look. With, with fucking a V6. Yeah, I might do that, actually. <laughs> I'm tempted to swap it for a V6. Should we do it? YOLO. V6. Straight up. Like, we don't need all the power of the V6, the single turbocharger don't need it. Alright, body kit. I bet they all look gay. Nope, that one looks clean. Rear wing? No. Does this one make it look cleaner? Yes. Take that off. Shiny chrome? Get out. Alright, let's put... Attempt to do sport tyres. Sport tyres... Um... Let's try and get the max. 225s two on the front. 225s uh, two on the rear, then I have to take this one down to 205s. Okay, so rims. What could be good rims? Um, I don't know what would suit this car. I really don't. What? What about these? <laughs> that looks stupid. Oh, I don't know. I'm gonna ages picking fucking rims for this. I need to just find some and pick them. Oh, they look gay though. Should go with them. They look weird. They look interesting, I suppose. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, let's upgrade that rim size, mate. Maybe it'll make it look a little bit better. Should we go seventeens? Yeah. Get it. I love how I said like I don't like chrome on my cars. Look at these wheels. <laughs> Just like the shiniest wheels, like Wow. Well, Hypocrisy at its finest. So drivetrain, everything race. And platform and handling and everything race again. How low does this go? Minus two point nine six inches. You know what? Those rims kinda suit it now. Now it's got lows, that thing is looking fine. Roll cage and full race reduction. So power. I don't even think I'm gonna do that much. Air filter exhaust cams, what's that take it to? 421. I think I might just leave it there. Let's just keep it A class. Um let's put that on. To keep it A class, adds a little effect to it, I suppose. A little effect. <laughs> it's not a lot, but a little effect. Okay, gift received. A tuning gift. Nice. Thank you, whoever that was. I'll have a look at that. Um, test drive. But yeah, if you have any tunes for grip racing, send them at me. Because grip racing, I have no, I have no clue whatsoever. Like, are you serious? Alright, Silverstone National. Wow. That V6. I love how... Sh well, I say I love how stripped it looks, but the back seat's still in there. <laughs> I was looking through the back window, I was like, oh shit, that's stripped as fuck. And then I go like this, oh, the back seat's there. <laughs> that's, a, that's really good logic right there. Wow, this car feels really light and unstable. Mm. 
Whoa. Oh, let's see what speed we get out of Gear 3. That's right. That's enough. Gear 3 is fine. Okay. Tune set up. Let's put a bass tune on. See how diff it differs from the start tune, like the default tune. Uh, 1.6 and 1 maybe. Kind of. I oh, don't want a lot of camber though. I kind of want to take the camber down. <laughs> Kind of tempted to go downwards because it's pretty small car, unstable. Right, let's go like that. Let's try that. Just thinking small wheelbase. Like I was gonna do like the tune I put onto everything, but it's a really small wheelbase, really light. I haven't really tuned a car like this before, so we got lowest to improve on ride height completely down. Take this bit up a bit. This about halfway. There we go, and uh, differential up to 85. Uh, let's see how that goes. Maybe it might need the camber going upwards. I don't know. Let's see. Whoa, that kicked back like a, like a crazy person. I think that's more me getting used to the car though, like it's a short wheelbase. Huh? Whoa, we get some air. <laughs> Damn. Like obviously with a car with a short wheelbase, you're not going to do very well. Like, let's be serious, like you're never going to tune it so it's absolutely stable like a, like a Supra or something. You're not going to do that. It's more like a fun car you can pull out when you're with your friends in a lobby or something or something like that. But it's feeling quite nice. Getting a little bit used to it I suppose. Like shorter wheelbase, more counter steering. I guess. I don't know. I probably just made that bit up. That was nice. That was really nice. I just turned down tire pressures, trying to get some control in the rear. Even though there's quite a bit of control in the rear, to be fair. Like, let's take that down a little bit, and this one down a bit. There we go. Let's see how that goes. It's only a slight little change. It's not going to make a massive difference, like. <laughs> Like, it's never going to be a 100% stable car, so i got to accept that it will spin out now and then, like, you're just never going to get this car perfect. Like, it's so small, but it looks kind of wicked while you're drifting, though. Like, look at that. Woo! It looks sick. It feels quite stable, actually. <laughs> Saying that, it feels really stable for this car, like, I wouldn't expect it to be this stable. But it's doing well. It's doing well. It's stable for what it is. This could be a little Fujimi killer right here. This could be a massive Fujimi killer. I'm liking the feel of this now. I'm liking the feel of it. It don't feel sluggish at all. It's so light and nimble, and it just wants to fucking go sideways like a boss. Like there's a lot of counter steering. You got to kind of accept that though, because it is a wheel short. Uh, a small. I was gonna say it's a wheel short, but it's like no. It's a small wheelbase. Ooh, that was a big bounce around there. 
But yeah, I'm really liking this. Like that spin out there, that was more me. me more me pushing it too far. I was just pushing it. Alright, let's turn this around. It looks really nice in these rooms. I'm kind of liking that choice right now. It's got an old school feel to those rooms. Kind of like that. Gearing's perfect. That kickback was fucking crazy. But it's a short wheelbase, you gotta expect that. What I could do is turn down tire pressures until it gets really sluggish, but I don't I kind of don't want that because then it's not really a fun car. Like do you really want an un this car is basically for fun, like you're not gonna use it in a competition, you're not gonna use it at tandem in it's kind of fun, like you're just gonna put it in a points lobby like when you're messing about or with a friend's private lobby or something like it's, it's not gonna be a serious car so for a serious car I think this is really good right here like you could actually use this as a serious car like the amount of control you actually have is crazy once you get used to it like I'm still getting used to it now like I spun out on like, the run before the last I'm still getting used to the short wheelbase, but if you use this all the time, you could actually use this as a serious, a serious like tandem car. I reckon it's got a nice, nice stableness to it. It's fucking crazy. I caught the kickback that time. See, I'm getting used to it. It's nice and fast as well. So yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it here. I'll pause it in the air, like a bolt. Tires, gearing, alignment, anti roll bars, springs, damping, aero, braking, and the differential. <laughs> okay, so if you want to see the see the uh, upgrades, go back to the start of the video. Just skip back, and you'll find them there. Like it's not a lot of upgrades. It's only like four. Well, I think I think it was four hundred brake. I can't even remember now. But. I can never remember, but there's not a lot of power upgrades. But it's got. I done the V6, uh, V6 swap from the 350, so it's got a, it's got a nice bit of power to start off with. And I went really wide there because I'm not even concentrating. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I reckon you should go check out this car. It's really nice. It's really stable for a fun car. So yeah, see you a lot later.